Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, we're gonna to be making a wrecking ball from scratch in BuildBox 3. I saw this on the BuildBox forum, how to create chain rope with realistic physics in BuildBox 3. And I was like, make it a wrecking ball. If you like knowing what the latest hot mobile game is or like making games yourself, be sure to like and subscribe. When you're making a game, it's really good to just bounce your ideas off of people, even if nobody says anything because there's a dev term called rubber ducking. And what a rubber duck is, is you basically just bounce off your ideas, your suggestions, and if you can bounce it off of someone who can help you back, even better. But sometimes you just, need to speak out your solutions to figure out how to do what you want to do. Today we're making a wrecking ball. We're going to jump into the default. Let's go ahead, change this color to a nice little blue color. Let's change this size to 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Move it all the way up here. And I'm also going to move the camera up. See how that camera looks good. So first, let's take this cube and let's move it in here. We'll, we'll make it character cube. Go into the character cube. We're gonna wanna add physics and make it kinematic. All this looks good. In addition, we're gonna wanna move it with the touch move. So let's go ahead and link these together. Now when it comes to the touch move, here we have it moving on the X and Y axis, but we're gonna want to switch this to Z and we'll move the invert. So just taking a look, we can see how it moves left and right like that. You can even see it from the shadow, how it's moving. Next, we're going to use a new node that I haven't used before, but is super helpful here. And that is the position limiter. Now I have already done the math to figure out where it's gonna go. So first we're going to set the min to negative two. Set the max to two. Y, I believe I have it at seven. So set the min and the max to seven. This will keep that cube at seven Y. Z, we want negative 10 and zero. So now let's go to the 3D world. And here, the start is at four. I'm gonna change it to zero. I don't know why specifically it's at four. And then I'm gonna change the end to negative 10. So now this will work better in terms of where we have the X, Y coordinates. Now let me move this back and up, and then you can see how the character can move forward and backward, and it can, it can only go so far to the left. Without the position limiter, this character movement could go all over the place, but that's not what we want. We want it to be confined here in this space. Next, I'm gonna make sure this cube is in the middle. So beginning is zero, end is 10. So let's move this to Z negative five. And now this will be in the middle, as you can see right here. So next, we're going to want to get some balls up in here. I'm gonna add two balls, copy that one. So this one first will be link ball, and this one will be wreck ball. Go in here. We're going to add physics, dynamic, effect all. And for the link ball, I'm going to make the mass five. Five. That's good, 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 good. Now let's do the same, but different to the rec ball. Physics, dynamic. You know what? Let's save it as well, because you always want to be saving. So let's add some colors. Link ball. I'm going to make pink because I think that is a good contrast to the blue background. And then the wrecking ball. We're going to make purple because I like these fun colors and I get to do what I want. This one I don't really like so much. Let's change the ground. Maybe a blue? Yeah, that looks better. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some link balls. Move this to the center in the Z direction. Change the size 0.25 move it all the way up here so currently this is at seven so i'm gonna move this to 6.5 now let's add a couple of these and we're just gonna copy and this is at 6.5 so we'll make this at six grab both of them hit s 5.5 5, 5, 5. So like both of them hit s and check it looks good 4.5 now okay 
Looks good. And select four more. Looks good. And finally, we're gonna want the rec ball all the way here. Let's change the size to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and move it negative five in the Z position. Move it up. And as we can see, we have a little bit of conflict. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that last link ball. Move this one up here. And I think we can do maybe 0.75. See how that looks. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks great. Now we got the makings for the wrecking ball. And now we just need to connect the pieces. So we connect these two, select this plus button and hit link selected point. That's what we want. And now we just do this between each individual. And now we just do this between each individual ball. Let's go to the ground and we're gonna go ahead and add fix to the ground and keep it static. We don't want this object to move at all. Now we are looking good and let's hit play and everything falls. That looked cool, but that's not what we want. So what did I forget? Oh, one last linker tool, the most important. And now everything is connected and look at that. Now I can play with the physics. Wait, 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 we are missing something. And that something is an object to destroy. Let me grab this object, make it super small. Let's also make this pink. Go to the pig, add physics, dynamic. Now when importing objects, always be sure to check the collision shapes of it. Some objects don't have collisions built in, but they're like super small. So it's always good to just test it and see what's going on. All right, so I added some pigs and here we go. It's back here and boom, smash. Looks like I do need to adjust the friction and the bounce, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add a zero here so it's even less bounce. Add a zero here on the friction as well, just so that the links don't move around too much. And also, now that we have pink pigs, I don't like the link color. Then let's go to the wreck ball and also take down the friction a lot. Oh, and then the mass of the wreck ball should be 100. That maybe works. Here we go, let's check it out. Bam. I don't like it, I'm gonna add the friction back. And this is just where you play with the settings and you see what works best. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that cool. Uh, let's try it again. Bam, yeah, see, we'll get in there. Now we are done. However, if I go into this world, duplicate the world and try to play from this scene, <laughs> it doesn't work, so I don't know what's up with that. I think that is actually the bug when it comes to duplicating scenes and worlds and not everything is it, working right. So there are still a lot of bugs in BuildBox. Keep at it. That is how you make a wrecking ball in BuildBox. Easy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What are you working on? What would you like to see? Maybe I can do it. Maybe not. I will see you next time. Peace.